I'd like to call this meeting to order, and we'll do a roll call of uh, <coughs> members. So why don't we start down with uh, Cynthia? Cindy Carrier, CUA Director. Jerry DeMaio. Damon Jesperson. John Farrar. Janine Cunningham. Susan Burwell. And there is no one else present to <coughs> And so we'll uh, do the updates. Start again on this side so that Janine can get your breath. Okay, so we have just sent off last week the next newsletter. We have a new program called Senior Feet. It is a woman who is a registered nurse and a registered pedicurist, manicurist. What she's going to do is um, medical pedicures. So it's not coming in and getting your toes painted pink. It's about cleaning up the nails and whatnot and keeping, it's almost like in between a podiatry visit just to maintain mm -hmm. and keep your nails. So we are booked for the month of January and already have people signed up for February. So, so far it seems like it's going to be a popular program. Uh, Gordon College Center for Balance, we've had them before. They are coming back on Wednesday, March 20th at 10 a.m. We are bringing back Animal World Experience. This is actually during February school vacation. So mm -hmm. we're encouraging people um, to bring your grandkids if they're on vacation and you have them around. So that's Thursday, February 22nd. Ping Pong has started. That's Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 to 1 at the Field House. Um, we have a woman who uh, lives here in town who travels extensively, and she came and spoke to us before about another trip she took, had um, photographs and stories and whatnot. So mm -hmm. she's coming back again on Wednesday, February 21st to talk about her trip with cheetahs. Um, game nights for February and March are February 13th and March 26th from 4 to 6. We have a St. Patrick's Day luncheon corned beef and cabbage at PETA Hall on Tuesday, March 12th. We did schedule a snow date, just in case. <laughs> uh, last year we were, uh, it was like two days before the event, it snowed like crazy, so people were calling us to see if we were canceling, and we weren't. There was enough time for everything to be cleared out, but we did um, book a snow date, which would be the next day. But here's hoping we won't have to deal with that. Watercolor class with Bill Duke is Tuesday, February 20th, and Tuesday, March 19th. That is uh, 10 to 1, 10 students tops in that class, so people would need to call us to register. And then we had another woman who uh, lives here in town, Peggy Poppy, who has a different type of watercolor class that she's going to offer. So she's doing a four week class starting in February. Um, people will pay up front for all four classes. The, the deal is you attend all four of the classes. The uh, funds are paid directly to her. She brings all of the supplies and the instruction. Uh, Traveling Chef is Thursday, February 29th, and Thursday, March 21st. And then we do have the AARP tax aid coming back again this year. So what they did last year was they came in for one day. I think they had, I think we had 12 people. I think they gave us 16 slots. They had four different tax preparers. You come in at a specified time. Um, you have to fill out some intake paperwork that you bring with you, all of your documentation. They do your taxes, sit down and review everything with you, and then they hit send. So um, that is back this year, Monday, March 18th, by appointment only, so people do need to call. And I already have four people signed up, so, and the newsletter hasn't even gone out yet. So um, I anticipate those will go quickly. Um, the newsletter, like I said, was sent to the printer, so we'll be hopefully folding and stuffing this week. We are still in need of snow angels. That program, last year I think we had 14 or 16 people who had snow angels. This year I have four. Yeah. Um, and I know for certain, one is not a student at the school. It's an adult that lives in town. So yeah. there's not a lot of um, help in that area. I would ask people if you have a, a neighbor who's older and needs help, that you look out for them. Um, but other than that, next year, Kathy and Janine and I all talked about kind of making a push maybe in the summertime to see if we could stimulate people to um, maybe not be a snow angel through Triton, but if they can let us know that they have a neighbor that they'll look out for. There's a couple of people that I've been worried about um, who seemingly have neighbors that are helping them out. But um, I, I just worry that people are not getting the help that they need. Um, office is closed on Monday, February 19th for President's Day. Again, our Shine Counselor is available year round, so if anyone is turning 65, um, you can talk to the Shine Counselor at any time 
before you turn so you can get some options and information from that person. Um, open enrollment isn't until the fall, but um, if people have questions, they're free to call us and we'll connect with the Shawnee Counselor. And then again, NEAT volunteers is our only other thing that we would be in need of. Um, the NEAT program we're pretty dependent on, so. How old do drivers need to be? There's, I don't believe there's a, I think it's 18. There's no age limit. Okay. Um, so yeah, if we had younger drivers, you just, maybe you're just taking someone to Anna Jake's you know, it's local, um, but it's something we sometimes struggle with, particularly this time of year. Sometimes a, a bunch of our neat drivers are snowbirds, so we lose a group of people. Um, you know, I was just thinking I have a, a friend's son who's studying nursing at Salem State, and it might appeal to him. Right. But he's young. Yeah. You know, he's 19. Yep. So I don't think, I think, I think 18 might be the... Like, they would want a brand new driver, yeah. um, but certainly I can look into that and let you know. Yeah. Don't mind. Okay. Sorry, I was going from the wrong agenda, which is why I started with the updates from each party. <clears throat> Got us a little out of order. Oh, okay. Um, so was November 27th the meeting that I that had the can. meetings, or is that the one that I canceled? No, we no, have to do a proposal of those meeting minutes. That's what I thought. So I just no. wanted to double check. Did, and I, talk about did I pass the, Did I email those out to everybody? I didn't I see didn't the, I didn't the November yeah, ones. copy yeah. of the agenda on it. Yes. But the. Um, <coughs> so I don't recall seeing them, but I could have missed it. So, but I would uh, entertain a motion to table okay. the approval of the November 27th meeting minutes until okay. everyone has had a chance to review them. So if someone could move that. So moved. And a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, and now we'll do the, since we've already done the director's report, we will do the participation in uh, Council on Aging events. And why don't we start at the other end of the table, Susan, if you are ready. Yeah, I haven't done anything in the past month. Um, December, I had all kinds of different things going on with health and babysitting, so I wasn't able to attend even the lunches on Palm Island. It just didn't work out on my schedule, so. Fair enough. I attended the um, senior tea mm -hmm. over Triton. Oh, yeah. I would highly recommend would you? Yes, would you? I good. really, really would we push it to because um, you you go. It was in the library, and it's been a long time since I've been in that building. Yeah, but, but it was um, it was the chorus. It was the jazz band. It was um, middle school or uh, middle and senior, you know, high school. Uh, they each did I don't know two or three performances or whatever. Meanwhile, there's the service group <clears throat> of the school mm -hmm. that are roaming around with, they had um, vegetables, fruit, all kinds of pastries, um, tea, coffee, juice, whatever. Um, it was about an hour long. Uh, I went by myself and I thoroughly enjoyed it, you know? I mean, it was just, it was just a pleasant, and everybody around me was happy and, you know, really thrilled. A lot of them were, parents or grandparents of the kids. Mm, um, yeah. So the woman that I ended up sitting with knew my son years ago when yeah, yeah. we just chatted and how fun it was and she had two grandkids performing and I just, it was just, it was so upbeat and pleasant and to see the kids perform, they were really happy to do this for, you know, mm -hmm. for seniors. So I would highly recommend that. I believe they're doing another program in the spring. Um, that we'll put in the newsletter as yeah. well. We had about, I think, five or six people responded, said they wanted to go. They did not want us to give them a ride in the van. They yeah. were going to get themselves yeah. there. Um, but to be honest, I didn't see anybody I knew, really? but it was big. Okay. I mean, it really? a lot, yeah, they, it was really Active. quite a well attended. Group. Good. It was well attended. Uh, Rowley Council on Aging had the van. Yep. And, um, I, it just was, you know, yeah. it was yeah. just nice. No, we intended to go with something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. I'm next, glad to hear that. Yeah, Thank next you. time I would just kind of even push it up. And yeah. Push it more. Just yeah. fun. I mean, yeah. I had no, you know, nobody no, performing, yeah. and yeah. 
It was still nice. Right. But my daughter does it up in um, her school system up in New Hampshire. And I thought, you know, that sounds kind of fun. So when I saw it, I said, I'm going to do that. Excellent. So. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you went. Yeah. That's great. Good. Good Considering that the, uh, my kids were really into the music program, and the music right. program is totally mm -hmm. diminished. <laughs> there's no marching band. There's no... Right. A lot of it, so um, exactly. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun. Uh, <clears throat> I think you know. Obviously, I participated in the uh, Peter Hall uh, luncheon, which was remarkable, and uh, always, uh, always well attended. Um, interesting, interesting discussions throughout. Uh, Spent a lot of time over at Central Street, keeping uh, young William company, um, and as he struggled to assemble ping pong tables, <laughs> he did yeah. a he did a stunning job. And, uh, I, I will I will say that uh, I was there for uh, you know for uh, cathartic purposes only. <laughs> I, did, I did not pick up a tool. There was some help from the rec committee, yep. um, John Regan from the rec committee. He had a few people he mentioned yes, he did. Jim that would come in, Jim Moran, and they would come in and say, Brad he'd start, yep. and they'd just come in and yep. really It was a good group group. effort. Yeah, yeah. it was very nice. They did yeah. a nice job, yes. and, uh, and it was fun. They, they, they had fun doing it. Yes. Oh, good. Um, a lot of parts. Hmm. <laughs> Thank goodness yeah. for uh, mechanical drawings. And then I, I just uh, pretty much uh, drop in every day at COA, and, and uh, I find it more interesting to uh, just drop in and, and walk around the tables and chat with folks, and that's it. And uh, obviously, I spent a lot of time on issues that we discussed going forward for the ad hoc, and I spent just four concentrated days between Ipswich and Newbyport and Amesbury and this afternoon in Raleigh, hopefully. Very good. That's about it. I did the last two weeks I've been teaching at Governors, and so I didn't have a lot of free time. Well, the holidays are a busy time for everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so yes, I've done some, I also drop in sometimes and manage to catch a few things here and there, or see a little bit of this or that, uh, sometimes get a whole bunch of food Truth. sent <laughs> home with me because there's a little excess. Um, <coughs> met with Tracy and Alicia about the ad hoc committee to make sure that they are up to date and uh, on board with what's going on. And that about covers uh, what I have been able to do. Still pushing my parents to get involved and getting considerable resistance. <coughs> from both? <coughs> More from mom. I was going to say, I could see your father go, yeah, God, let's do this. He's done. He did. <coughs> comes to something. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I just do the regular things like the lunch and the game nights. The game nights and the travel shop. What was interesting is. I thought the Peter, when you have like the big luncheons, a lot of people come out that are really there. And it was really great because I'm sitting at a table and I'm looking at the woman. And I said, I went, really walked over to her and I said, You look a lot like Bev Gravel. Now I knew she lived in Newburyport. I know we, she tried and tried. And she goes, I am Bev Gravel. And evidently her husband grew up in Newbury and they're living there now. But it was so good for someone to connect with someone who taught your child. And it's a nice way people can go to these things. And she said, I was waiting for someone from Triton to come up and <laughs> talk to me. I remember you. Very good. All right. Is there any new business that people would like to have on the agenda next time or something that needs to be talked about today? All right. Mm -hmm. Any... Um, <coughs> Ad hoc, <coughs> I feel we're getting here from sorry. No, that um, ad hoc committee reports or no? At this point, not yet. And not, not have, yet. You know, we met, you have started the process. Just meeting each other and. And, you know, I gave everyone a bunch of jobs to do. And oh. we'll talk later about uh, what Did they you do done. your job? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. 
The one, I would ask one question. Communications, what your luxury is, is if we had a list of emails, would you be permitted to send those out <coughs> as opposed to U.S. mails? How do you mean? If we could get a master list of emails, would you be permitted to use that for communications? What, what do you mean communication? Invitations to specific functions, uh, pleas for assistance and help. Um, as far as invitations to programs, that's what this is. It's a giant invitation letting people know. Understood. So I do have 100 people that receive this electronically. Um, so I do have an email list that I work from, but it's not. <coughs> if I were to go to Gretchen, would she be able to provide me with a veterans list of? Gretchen, no, but the VSO. VSO. I've already asked Steve. Yeah, he's the one who would be able to. Okay. That too. All right. Yeah, would that be an invasion of privacy or not? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I mean, if they've given it to him, he, he might be able to do that. I mean, it's, uh, they haven't given it to me. I, I just, it no, if, they, if the veterans he have given their email address to Steve. He may be restricted. Yeah. The whole point is, I, I, I look, is that's a perfect card through the entire village, all ages, from 28 to 78 to 98. Uh, that's the one string, the one thread that runs all the way through both, you know, all parts of the town. Maybe. I mean, I have a lot of people that come to us regularly, that they do not have an email address. So that's why we do this. They like to get this and pay. Understood. Yeah. Um, and I will say, I received a dozen of these back. I don't know how many more. So these came back with the tax payments. It doesn't even look like they were unfolded. Wait a minute. You mean they oh, were? They were in the envelope? So they just sent them right back. Oh, I thought they so, were response. Oh, no. that's not good. So uh, I don't know how many more. This is just yeah. what I was given. So what would prompt somebody to send that back with their check? Know. They didn't take it out of the envelope. They didn't even yeah. look at it. Simple as that. Yeah, I think that might be just it. Didn't even yeah. look at it. No. So. So it was inside a return envelope. It came right back with their payment. Isn't that? It awesome? wasn't in the return envelope. Yes. And they stuffed it. They out. sent it back. No, no, yeah, no. But so they we put it in there. It wasn't in the. So no, they, they, they had to. The they went to the. In. Yeah, to put it back in, but they obviously didn't even look at it. They just slipped it. Right so back they in. mailed that to Reading, where the tax money goes. Yeah. Isn't that something else? Yeah. So I don't know how many people just tossed them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know. You never know what, what the yeah. what. The people who told me they got these mm -hmm. was her. <laughs> Was Chris Howe, was you, like people who already attend and come to things, or the people who already know what's going on here? Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it's. I know it got out, but. Yeah, I saw it on a kitchen counter, Baby Lane, so I know one house that got it. Yeah. But did they read it? I, they yeah. must have read it. His whole thing. Well, at least if it's spread open, yeah. you know, and un I mean, unfolded, yeah. you know. Yeah. And that's why we have them folded this way instead of right. closed. Yeah. And the boy in the house made said, it's my first calendar I've read from COA. And what to my bloodshot eyes should appear is Johnny Ferrara's name on the back page. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he made fun of me that night. Well, at least they read it. Yes, they did. Yeah. yeah. So you haven't received any like direct contact from anyone that wanted more information? No negative. Nothing negative. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's positive. I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, a something. lot of it too, I'll tell you, um, of late, we've made a lot of connections with people through police and fire. So police and fire respond to certain things. They call me, let me know, mm -hmm. Janine and I will talk, and uh, she makes a connection. So that's another way mm -hmm. that we're connecting with people. Um, that's more mm -hmm. on the you know, outreach side service where they need certain services. Yeah. Um, that's, that's another element. Coffee with a cop. Um, that will be back. I called Allison in order to get a hard quality introduction to Doreen in Amesbury. They should be as Allison sits on the board. And um, the, I still think that the best way to introduce her is coffee with a cop. Who is Allison? Allison Kosovari. She's a uh, Social on the a social worker for Avita in Newburyport, oh, okay. but she's also on the board for the Council on Aging okay. and Local So we attempted to do a caregivers like support group with her, mm -hmm. and nobody signed up. Nobody came. Mm -hmm. So I think I think if Aaron's asking the question, people will open up, and if he introduces her, that'll be stronger. We can try. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. Uh Set the next meeting date.
which we have tentatively scheduled for the 26th of February. That works for people. And if there is no strong objection at present, I would entertain a motion. <coughs> motion. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor of our next meeting being February 26, 2024 at 9 o'clock. Say aye. 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 All right. The next thing on the agenda is to go down and take a ride in the new van and check it out. And we will not be reconvening after that, so I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. <coughs> Second. All those in favor? Aye. aye. aye.